Idin Obinche of Prempe College, NSMQ 2021 champion for Prempe College, just lost his mom. I'm the elder sister of Idin Obinche, and it's true. I'm on 5th July, we lost our mom. That is the sad news hitting the NSMQ fraternity. So today, if you are watching me on this channel, it's a sad news for the whole NSMQ fraternity. I had a seven minutes long video chat with her sister and she explained what led to the demise of Edith's mother. If you are new on this channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and let's get into the video. Okay, so those who don't know Eden, Eden represented his school, Prempe College, popularly known as Amman for for their old students. And he repped the National Science and Mass Quiz that is held in Ghana every year for the brilliant minds. And he represented his school, Prempe College, which is a senior high school located in the Ashanti region, Ghana. They went ahead to win their regionals and then went ahead to win the championships of which they faced Presec Legon, Presbyterian Boys and Kita School, Kita Senior High School in the grand finale of which Prempe College won the competition. Pre Presec Legon came second and Kita School historically came third with their star woman, Francisca Lamisi, Bright and Lutrot of which Luchot passed away some few weeks ago from the University of Ghana. Uh, he didn't lost his mom and it has been a sad news for the Obinche family and they've been grieving a lot. The family saw it right that because Eden was a public figure and a lot of people knew Eden through NSMQ who are not related to the family directly wouldn't have heard this message. So they contacted us to put this from information out to all the NSMQ fraternity and most especially to the Prempe College Old Student Association and current student. I had a conversation with Eden's sister because Eden couldn't grant the interview because he was mama's boy. He would have broke down emotionally. So his elder sister Martina granted us the interview and explained all that happened and also what led to the demise of their beloved mom who was called mrs mabel obinchi i had a seven minutes long video chat with her sister so let's get into the video to know what really happened and the funeral arrangement as prepared by the family i'll get back to the video martina you are welcome to the youtube channel king and era tv and over here we talk about everything that relates to the national science and mass Peace. so if you are live with us today on this channel we heard an issue uh, that popped up in relation to Eden Obey Nanachi and as a relative to him and a sister to him, wanted to verify from you. But first of all, I know you personally, but I know the channel members don't know you. So if you can introduce yourself to the channel. Okay. Thank you for the invitation. Um, first of all, my name is Martin Obinchin. I'm the elder sister of Eden Obinchin. It did not be a matching, rather. And it's true. Um, on 5th July, we lost our mom. So, so that's what's, what's going on right now. We are all mourning our mom. So this one, our uh, heart condolences to you and then the family. And Thank because we know you. your mom was dear to your heart. Some of the previous pictures, Eden was, I think Eden was going to uh, Caltech. You shared some photos online and people were celebrating with him. And we saw your mom in those photos and things. What do you think those memories brings back? Um, there's a whole lot of memories because we, we went to um, say goodbye to Aiden at the airport. That was the last time he saw my mom. Even though they have been talking through video calls, but it's not like seeing her face to face. Oh. Yeah. And um, Aiden once said he wanted to come back to Ghana to visit his family. Yeah. Okay. To check her up on us. Um, this year so he he wanted to come around september that was a surprise thing that he wanted to do 
So we had already made plans of he coming to Ghana and everything. And the, the more reason why he wanted to come was to come and see his mom. So, so unfortunately, um, 5th July, at dawn, and I had a call that my mom wasn't responding to their call. That was my little brothers who were staying with my mom at okay. home at Nkwanta okay. Kepe. Like he, it, he, she wasn't responding to their call, so they have sent her to the hospital. So okay. I should come and help out, not knowing she died on the way to the hospital. So when, when I go to the hospital, I went to the emergency ward. I um I I talked to one nurse there that I'm looking for a patient here. And the patient's name is Mabel Vinci. Um, okay. And I'm, I'm, I'm the daughter, so can I see her? Or how is her condition? And the nurse told me there's no patient here like that. Okay. So I decided to follow up to um, the female ward to see maybe she was taken there. I went there and they said there's no one like that there. So. Um, I got back to the compound looking for the one who sent my mom at dawn. Okay. So our neighbor came in and I was like, where's my mom? Because I've gone to this place, I've gone to that place. I haven't seen her. So what are you saying? And he was like, where's my dad? And I was like, he he's coming. Because at that moment, my dad wasn't at home. He had mm -hmm. traveled to um, assist someone with something. So I was somewhat, uh, I was nearby, so I had to um, come as a uh, family member. So I told him, my dad is coming back. Right now I'm here, I want to see my mom. And the neighbor was like, when they brought her to the hospital, the doctors did all that they can to help her survive. but. Unfortunately, she couldn't make it, and her remains has been taken to the morgue. Okay. So I was just speechless. Like, I was, I don't know, it's like a whole prank thing to me. But all the same, I called my dad, and I think my dad rather called me, and I was on the phone because he was on the way to the hospital. I was okay. on the phone speechless. I wasn't like, I was just crying and he knew what was going on. He tried to call the neighbor, but the neighbor didn't tell him the actual facts. Oh, okay. So he he called me again and I told him, they, they said my mom is not alive anymore. The doctors couldn't help her. So I called Aiden in the morning, that same time that I was at the, at the hospital and I told her, I told him because before I left home to the hospital, mm -hmm. I, um, he called me and he was like, um, Junior called him that mom is sick, so I should rest there because he's not around. So yeah. I went there and I told him the feedback is, is too much for me to bear because right now we don't have our mom with us anymore. Yeah. Unfortunately, he has left us. So rather, he was rather consoling me, but I know he was in much greater pain because mm. he he wasn't able to see his mom for the last yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah, because he had a whole lot of plans of coming to Ghana to surprise his mom and eat her, her food too, because he was like, he wants only local foods when he comes back. So he he couldn't come and see her. And like, how should I even say it? He's trying to is it um isolate himself to grieve more. Yes, and so, I, I realize so, that. I realize that. Yeah. I realize that from yeah, so he didn't want to post anything for anyone to know. 
that okay. my mom is gone. But all this time, like he he has been consoling us. But on the actual note, we aren't there to also console him. Yeah. But all the yeah. same. Um, um at the funeral arrangements, I think he, he will return because we fixed it around the time that he has to return to Ghana so that he can see his mom one last time before yeah. Yeah. we bury her remains. Yeah. So there's so many memories. Yeah. Our condolences. Our condolences. Our condolences. You. We are very sorry. So uh, to our viewers, to all Premier College uh, old students and amount for, and to all the NSMP facility, there's something that has hit one of our favorites and one of our stars. So it will be prudent that we all rally behind the family. Uh, we go for the funeral. If nothing, those who are in contact with Eden, you you call to console him and then send him a message of encouragement. So as we said, the date for the funeral is 16th September, right? Yeah, 16th September, 2023. It's because we, we couldn't reach out to everyone. That's okay. why we wanted it to be an online thing where we can share invitations to people. Because okay. Aiden has a lot of um, loved ones. Yeah. That yeah. We can't all we can't read them all. We had to do this so that they can all be in touch, even if yeah. not physically, but emotionally, yeah. they can be in touch with him. Yeah, because I, I for instance, didn't know Eden anyway. I knew Eden through NSMQ. Yes. Yeah. So, but what you are saying? Yeah, true. So, at the right time. We'll call back if we need any information or anything. But until then, I think we'll be waiting on for the preparations towards the uh, funeral arrangement on 16th September, right? Okay. So, thank Martina, thank you very much for the information you've given us on this channel. And as we've said already, everything happens for a purpose. And in all things, we give thanks to God. We'll just say that condolences to the family. So, as you heard from Martina in the video, the funeral arrangement comes up on. 16th september at inquanta kessie of the offensive road all sympathizers are cordially invited and those who are close to eden you just send him a message of encouragement and console our brother until then we'll see you in the next video if you've not subscribed hit the subscribe button and then the like button and also continue to watch more of our videos we'll see you in the next video bye bye Bonanta kufu Kukwiso kwa unavyo nipatia Oh my